Hello again. Hopefully I got everything in focus. Just right. Got stuff flying in the wind everywhere. Okay, well, I didn't clean off my tool, but I'm going to do another swipe and I'm going to use this damp cotton rag to do so. And I'm going to take a chance. No, I'm going to scrape that off. Okay. I just did a sort of a yellow swipe and what I really want is to go ahead and see what happens with a pink swipe. Or as much pink as I can possibly get myself to use. I think this color is very transparent so I'm not sure how well it's going to work. I'm going to try and use less paint. I think I might have said that before. But that's, that's my goal. I forgot there wasn't much left in this. Hopefully there's enough. Yeah, looks like we got it. I know I said pink, and you can see that that's not pink. Use my damp rag to wipe things off with. This time I'm going to do my best to spread my paint colors. But as they're being spread out, they have much less time to work with because they're going to be easier to be dried. I guess I'm a little tongue-tied right now. Um, okay. I added some Floetrol while I still had some to this. And I'm hoping that there's, yes, there is, there's some in there. Not too worried about dribbles. I'm thinking I'd like this to be a gold swipe, but I don't know. I'll see how I feel about it when I get there. And that is almost gone. I wanted to do this for a while. I made a really nice 16 by 20 swipe. This is a only a 10 by 20. I'm gonna tap that pink off on the sides like I used to when I was behaving. I'm doing this the so-called right way. Let me see. I found this great orange that I don't use very much because it's in this weird bottle. Not a very attractive bottle, but it's got some metallic pearl in it. And I thought that might be pretty, and it's almost gone, so that's good. I'm using up stuff I need to use up. Oh, that's pretty. Yes, I do like these colors together. It's weird not making paintings without making videos, but I guess that's the only way it's going to get done. And once the weather isn't amicable anymore, then I am proverbially screwed of being able to do what I'd like to do. I think this might be the one place I can use this color and not feel weird about it. And then I mix it with the orange, so. I didn't clean off my spatula because I figure everything's gonna sort of be mixing together anyway. Not only that, that gives me a perfect excuse to go back in there with a little bit more of that. Somewhere around here, right there. Just scrape that right back into the painting and wipe off my cloth again. And get out the actual orange. Yep. Looking way more orange than pink right now. That does not mean that I won't catch up. It is in my plan to catch up. I call pink this purpley color pink even though it might be purple to some people. It's definitely, ooh, that's gonna make a nice statement. And as I recall in the past, adding a little white in here never hurt anything. It's a great tradition. Add a little something. I kinda want, oh gosh, okay. Something just break it up. Some other really pretty colors. Yes, I do. I just realized I didn't move that along. Those two mix nicely together. Just makes me want to use some more of that. I wonder what that was. <laughs> what did I do with it? Let's see if this is it. Well, that's not it, but it'll still look cool. As long as we're at it, why don't we just throw a little more of that in there? All right, I think I'm almost to the point. I 
I'm going to add some black. And I left it where I could find it. My swipe cloth was not quite long enough last time. And I did say I was going to do a gold swipe. Let's take some of this puddling paint and push it. And I'm hoping that I am not underestimating how much paint I have. Let's push some of this over here. Less risk. Not getting to the edges. I think. I'd like to play. So I'm going to play. Wipe off my tool. I said gold. Gold it is. I think I've kind of figured out if I don't drag my rag up over the end, I'm far better off. I can drag it down over, but then I need to lift it up over. I'll show you what I mean in a minute. Because the gold is somewhat see-through, of course, unless you get a nice heavy layer on there, which I might be able to do. But I'm not going to count on it. I want this to be really nice and golden. Golden, golden, golden is not a word. Golden. Okay, so let's call it a pre coating. <laughs> oh, do I want any more black? Do I want any more anything? Do I want? What do I want? I want some more of that. Do I want anything else? I go on. Maybe I do. Okay, that's enough. Stop yourself while you can. Move your paint out of the way. Paint's in an all new place now because of the weather. It was supposed to be nasty and it seems beautiful to me, so I'm not going to worry about it right now. This is my cotton wet rag. You put it hem side down into the gold. Actually, I'm going to accordion that up for a minute and move this up into a better view of your... Give you a better view. Okay. So, let me tap that. Wow, I've got ruffles. Tap, tap, and we go. I think I'm going to like this. I'm not really thrilled with the fact that I left that bottle of gold right under my elbow at the other end. Well, I guess I can't be perfect every time. Over the end, we're going to be dropping that over. I am going to be taking some of this paint that I know is on there, spreading the paint that's already fallen over the edge, and using it to cover the edges. And then, I'm going to get that pesky paint bottle out of my way. And do the same thing. Gently, because I'd like to leave more than I remove. And I think this time I'll be letting this fall down over that end. It's not really very pretty yet. But that doesn't mean that I can't make it so. I don't give up easily. Makes me want to put some more gold in there, that's for sure. Maybe 
and throw it around. Let's go both ways. Hopefully you don't have that camera strap in here. Oh, I'm loving the way that purple's popping at that end. I really need all of that to help me cover that other end where the rag didn't go. I don't want to make it too wiggly. I know there's colors under there that we can drag out with a skewer. And I'm really tempted to go ahead and do that right now. I'm wishing I had not put all that paint in front of me. But it won't take me but a second to move it away. Hopefully, good enough. That way, I can show you what I'm going to do. And I have a skewer. Camouflage is working pretty well so far. Hopefully if we get enough paint down there, I can give it a bit of a tip again. Yep. I was hoping for that. That means somewhere in the center, we got some great colors. We're going to have another party piece. Yes, we are. Doesn't look like this one is selling a lot yet, but I also haven't taken a minute to try and torch because I was too busy trying to save that end. Yep, definitely like it with more. I'd rather have more and have to get rid of it than have to add it. I don't think that black did much for me at all, but maybe more would be better. <laughs> eh, what can I say? This was an experiment. I don't think I can really hate anything with this much pink in it. That is a great color. 
but it's not giving me what I want to pick up with, or not as much as I'd like to have anyway. You can see that I'm picking up in some places and putting it in others. But if you've seen what I do before, you know that this is not the same as some of them because some of them really expose a lot more. I hope I can touch that gold up later. I kind of like it. I'm getting to kind of like it. That white has been weird the last couple paintings. It's not really going where I'm expecting it. But I am liking this. And I'm always saying that if you wait too long to torch, you may not get anything, so it's time to give it a try. See if less paint makes a difference when you torch. Oh, we're getting some nice little cells. Really pretty. out again. I think there's every chance I'm running out of fuel. But I think that a lot and it's not usually true. Oh, to heck with you. I'd like to think that there was some more white here in the middle. And it turns out there's something there in the middle. I don't think I care that it's not white. Yeah, I want to look for more of that. <laughs> Good colors. There's that obnoxious pink, and it looks kind of nice right, right where it is. I guess I will mute that sucker a little bit. Yep, I'm really actually liking this a lot. It's not... Well, I always say it's not like the others, but it's really not like anything else. At least not to me. I think I could put a little gold down there. I wonder why all the orange is over there. I sort of think there must be some over here somewhere. It's probably where I touched up an edge. Drag that skewer sideways and we'll release all kinds of weird stuff. Hopefully it'll be good stuff. Alright, it looks like my edges need to be touched up. Go down there while the paint is still wet. Declare this a success. Look at my other side. What have I got in here I can spare? Anything? Roll my skewer to pick up my paint. Roll it the other way to release it. Very handy to know. Not enough paint. <laughs> I will not be skimping again, I can tell you now. I'm not complaining. I like the painting. But I would prefer to be able to have paint that I can scavenge. I got a little more gold in places I wanted it this time. It's worth thinking about, seeing how things work, trying new ways of doing stuff. Just once I'd like to finish a video. 